All right, guys. So I'm back uh, working on the the Q Custom Plot app that we've been building, or the program we've been building. Um, and let me show you what that does again, just to refresh your memory. Um, basically, what we can do is we can add points in in a number of different ways. Uh, we can click to add a point, or we can uh, add a point with some combo boxes. But what I want to do in this video is make the the graph area the axes interactive so you can see that i can click and i can add points um, i can use these combo boxes to add points um, but i'm kind of limited i can't do anything with this area and so i want to add some some things to make this interactive where i can drag to move the axes and i can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and so that's what we're going to work on here so as far as enabling dragging um, to move the plot area and scrolling with the mouse wheel, it's actually quite easy. Um, and so to do that, we're simply going to add two lines of code. And the first line of code uh, will be to enable us to click and drag. So we'll do ui.plot.senderInteraction and QCP colon colon I range drag comma true so we'll set that to true now I'm gonna run this there's gonna be one problem with it that I'll show you uh, when we run so we can control R to run give that just a minute while it builds and the problem that's gonna happen I'll just tell you now is when I click to drag it's gonna add a point so see, you can see that I can click and hold, and then I can drag the axes up and down, but it adds a point every time I do it. Okay. And so I'm adding these points as I go, when all I want to do is, is scroll on the, the graph. There's a way to fix that, and we'll do that right now. So down here in this connect slot, um, in this connection, we have this signal on mouse press. And we can change this from a mouse press to a mouse double click. And so when we press on the mouse, we add a point to the graph. So I'm just going to do mouse double click. We'll change that mouse event, and then it should fix our problem. So let's go ahead uh, and we'll run this again. Okay, so now I have this, and you can see when I click and drag, a point doesn't get added. But if I double click, then I can add points. Okay, so that clears up the kind of discrepancy we had there with the two things happening on that event. So let's go ahead here and click clear. And we'll close that out. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add the scrolling. So we'll do ui.plot.setInteraction QCP I range zoom and true. And a semicolon to finish it off. And then we'll go ahead and we'll run that. All right, so here we are. So I'm scrolling now and you can see these axes changing. As I, you know, I can scroll out, I can zoom out, or I can scroll in, you know, and zoom way in. I can come in, I can add a point with my click. I can zoom out, add a point over here, add a point over here. I could zoom way out, you know, and add a point all the way over here, one over here. Now I'm gonna zoom in. And now we have another problem with this. So I just zoomed way out and added some points. I don't remember exactly where they were. And to find them, I need to zoom all the way out. Um, and there they are. So one thing that might be useful here is to maybe add a button that zooms to the full extent of the data. And so that's the next thing we're going to do is add that button that can allow us to automate that zoom so we don't have to search for points uh, as we add these to our data set. Okay. So we'll go back into that. Um, think we need to open up our form. So let's go to main window UI. Open that guy up. Uh, and then I want to get a push button. And we'll just throw that over here for now. And uh, we'll change the text. I'm going to just call this zoom full. And uh, I'm going to check these names looking at it right. Okay, so I'm using BTN as kind of the prefix. So we'll call it BTN underscore zoom full okay then we can right click 
and um, go to slot, clicked, okay, and that brings us to the slot for when the button's clicked there. And here's where we can add the code that will scale those axes so when we click the button, it zooms to the full extent of the data. Okay, so in order to set the range of these axes, I'm going to do ui.plot.xaxis.setRange. Now, all my data is going to be stored in these QVX and QVY vectors. I'm going to go to the main window header file here to show you those. Um, so these are doubles. They're just two vectors to hold the data. So let's go back over to our CPP file. And so what I can do here is I can use the standard library and I can go standard and we're going to get the minimum value, which I can do with uh, min element. And the way I get it from the min element is I'm going to give it qv underscore x dot begin. So that's the beginning of the array. And then I'm going to give it qv underscore x dot end. And that's the end of the array. Now this returns a pointer to an element in an array. So I need to dereference that. And then... Uh, that gives us the minimum element. Now we need to get the maximum element. So we can do the same thing, standard, but then get the max element. And we're going to do the same thing, qb dot, or qb underscore x dot begin. And then uh, qb underscore x dot end. Okay. And that will give us that. I'm going to just add some lines here so that that's not over the play bar in YouTube. Okay, now I need to do the same thing for the y-axis. So I'm just going to copy this line of code and change the x's to y's. So we'll change this to the y-axis and we'll change this to qb underscore y and change this uh, to qb underscore y. And the same thing for these two. And let's go ahead now and see if that works. So I'm going to go ahead and run. Save all. Okay, so my application's up. Let's uh, add a couple points by double clicking. And let's click zoom full. And nothing happened there. Let me see if I can zoom out a ways and try it again. It could be a problem. I'll zoom back in. Okay, so we have a problem here. Let me just check on that uh, and get back to you. Okay, so this is a pretty simple problem. Um, I need to call the plot function again. So you can see here in the plot function, that's when we replot everything. Um, and so once we assign these ranges, then we need to update that. So we'll go ahead and we'll just call plot here, semicolon, and now we'll run again. Save all. Okay, it's back up. We'll add the points. Now when I do this, it should zoom in, zoom full. Okay, and you can see that it zoomed in. Um, and it's hard to see those points because they're right on the edges. Okay, and so what we can do Let's add some more points out here, just see how this works. We'll zoom out and we'll pan way over. We'll add one there and we'll add one way over here and one over here, one up there, one down there. Okay, good deal. And now let's uh, click zoom full and you can see that it, if you zoom, you can just see the edges of those data points right on the ends of that. And so that's how you can uh, Add some automation to your Q custom plots and allow for some user interaction by uh, scaling the axes with the mouse. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, helps me out a lot. Thank you.